Welcome to this video of IBM Watson Analytics by Bharti Derby Consultancy. In my previous video, we created a dashboard using the collection of objects we had from our exploration area. We were able to create this analysis tab for our dashboard. Next is, I'm going to create another tab. To add a tab, click on add a new tab. Again, you can select a template. Let's use freeform and I'm going to rename it to analysis two. In this one, again, I can use the objects from collection so let's use an object from collection and here it goes I can shape it as I want there you go <clears throat> apart from this I can also add many other visualizations from here let's add a word cloud so click on this word cloud and i'm going to add some columns so let's add customer name in the words size by let's add you can use navigation from the bottom here like this scroll it by profit And once you are done, you can also color by sales cost or sales amount, I'm sorry. So color by sales amount. So in this, what I have done is used customer name. So it will display customer name on the chart, sized by profit or loss and color by sales amount and once you are done click on this collapse you can see that Emily fan car is the highest selling or profitable customer for me and Carlos Quitres is my other customer this looks too crowded I want to change it so in order to change it just go back, click on this button, remove customer name, and let me do an analysis of states. State, so I'm gonna add state here in the words column, and I'm going to remove the color by, so that every state is in the same color. So this tells me that California is one of my biggest selling states in Columbus and <clears throat> Prince Edward Northwest Territories. These are my states in, Colum uh, in, in Canada, which are my heavy selling states. I can create another visualization so let's add one more tab select a template again and I'm going to say analysis 3 and in this third one let me add a map 
this is a great visualization option in this i'm going to add country at re as region and i'm going to add the point heat as my profit and loss the calculation which i created in my data refinement and once i'm done you can also add size by profit loss so regions and you can see that the map is created i want to make this map bigger I think I'm missing something here. Let's edit again. And add in the region heat. Let's add country. There you go. So this region heat I was missing. And you can see that Canada is in blue color and in this area and us is here i can expand it and i can click on any area you canada it tells me this and i can add country us and it tells me what happens here so these are some color bandings and profit and loss i want to do more visualization or enhance this visualization by adding sales amount it's going to recalculate and i'm going to get rid of sales amount sales profit so that i can get the map again there you go so there you go this is the sales amount and profit all plotted in one single map to show how it looks like. This is an amazing tool. You can do analysis on the fly, no coding, no technical experience. All you need to do is do it yourself on the cloud. I hope you like this. In the next set of videos, we're gonna talk about predictive analysis. We'll create stories, which is the next one, and then predictive analysis, and I'll show you how you can work with social media options in Watson Analytics. Thank you.